In this class, we are trying to discuss about 2D and 3D rotation. 2D rotation. Rotation of a triangle about the origin and a fixed point. So we are going to discuss about the rotation of a triangle of a end of, of from origin at an origin and a fixed point. The two basic dimension transformation that is needed. So the first one is the two-dimensional translation and two-dimensional rotation. Understanding two-dimensional translation, a, a translation of a single coordinate point by adding the offsets to its coordinate. Translation coordinates TXY, TY is added to XY. So you can see here, so this is the place that is X double dash, Y double dash is obtained by adding the translation. That means it is translated to this particular distance from X to this TX and Y to this TY. So to this distance it is moved from X to this value. Now understanding two dimension matrix translation representation. Now it is represented in the form of matrix X dash, Y dash and 1. So it is 1, 0, TX, 0, 1, TY, 0, 0, 1 is multiplied with 1, 0, X and Y. This is the input X and Y. It is translated with these values. When it is represented like this, it is you get the output as 1, 0, TX plus X. 0, 1, ty plus y and 0, 0, 1. So this is the translation that is occurred. So that's the first part we are trying to understand. So next to understand two dimensional rotation. So this is xr and yr is a point that is this point is called pivot. So it is rotated at that point. Now the parameter of two dimensional rotation are are the rotation angle theta so and that is xr and xy are, are, are the positions and call the rotation point that is called pivot point so this is a point that is called pivot point and it is rotated with the pivot point you can see this that is the angle it is rotated with the theta and it is rotated in the counterclockwise and the Angle is positive angle. So negative values is got, negative angle is got by rotating in the clockwise direction. Now this is phi. Phi is an angle that is obtained and it is rotated with an angle of theta. Then it becomes phi plus theta. So is the new angle that is a real rotation rotation with phi and theta to the origin so that is it is rotated with this angle so angle phi is the original angle and theta is the rotational angle and sin phi so for example considering this one sin phi equals opposite side by hypotenuse that is equal to y by r and cos phi the cos phi is obtained by adjacent over hypotenuse that is equal to x over r so that is adjacent adjacent is x over r so that is cos phi and sin phi equals opposite side by hypotenuse that is y by r so that is y by r and x by r so y equals r sin phi x is equal to r cos phi now the y we have that first equation with the r y is equal to r sin phi and x is equal to r cos phi it is rotated with an angle of theta then so y dash equals r into the sine of phi plus theta. So x dash equal to r into cos of phi plus theta. So there is the angle of rotation that is occurred with, an, uh, with a, some distance of an angle. So that is x dash equals substituting these values. So x dash this value substituting this x dash equals r cos phi into cos theta minus r sin phi into sin theta and y dash equals r cos phi into sin theta plus r sin phi into cos phi so cos theta substituting this equation so where we replace this r cos phi with y uh, with x and r sin phi with y so r cos phi is replaced with x so it becomes x cos theta minus y sin theta so when you replace 
r sin phi with y so the x cos theta uh, x into cos theta minus y into sin theta is equal to x dash and x y dash equals x sin theta plus y cos theta so here in this case that you are we are trying to r cos phi is replaced by x and uh, r sin phi is replaced by y so this is the new uh, new equation that you are getting there is a new x value with an angle of rotation of theta plus phi that is the angle of rotation of theta for the phi angle so the you get x dash and y dash so x dash equals x cos theta minus y sin theta y dash equals uh, x sin theta minus y cos theta so substituting this in the in the form of a matrix then you can see so r cos theta minus sin theta cos theta minus sin theta is represented here and sin theta cos theta is represented here into x and y that is this x and y this x and y is placed here so when we multiply this two we get the same values so therefore p dash is equal to this uh, matrix into this matrix now representation of this in the two dimensional matrix uh, is the x dash y dash 1 is cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 into x y and 1 now given the given the program the rotation of of the triangle in the origin and and pivot is as shown that means the two dimensional rotation of the triangle as shown so it is rotated at the origin and at the pivot so now consider this there are three steps that is to be uh, made to rotate this triangle so a triangle is taken now it is moved to the you did translation and it is moved to the origin and then it is rotated and it is moved back from the origin to the previous started position now the original position of the triangle and the pivot so this is the triangle that is been given and now we need to push it to the origin so we have discussed the transition method so how we use transition to move it to the origin so that is 1 0 dx 0 1 dy 0 0 1 so this is we are using this command this um, matrix to move it to the origin so dx dy is added as discussed earlier and the translation of object so that the pivot point is at the origin that means it is moved to the origin now rotation about the origin so then you are we are going to rotate the at the origin so ro rotate cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 so now rotation is made with an angle of theta so that means so it is moved to the origin and now it is rotated so it is rotated with an angle of theta so we get so theta is specified so it, this is the matrix that is used to rotate with an angle of theta now again when it is rotated then you are moving back to the origin uh, to the origin point so it is by minus so we have added the distance to move it to the origin now we are subtracting it to move it back to the uh, from the origin to the same position so it becomes tx and ty becomes minus tx and minus ty so it becomes 1 0 minus tx 0 1 minus ty and 0 0 1 so this is what the representation of it now the same thing now same thing we are representing now the rotation at origin and a pivot point is as shown by getting the general equation so that 1 0 tx 0 1 dy 0 0 1 into cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 into 1 0 minus tx 0 1 minus ty 0 0 1 so substitute multiplying all these things these values we are trying to get the cos theta minus sin theta into xr into 1 minus cos theta plus yr into sin theta sin theta into sin theta cos theta yr into 1 minus cos theta plus 
via xr into sin theta that is 0 0 1 so this is the angular rotation uh, and this is r is multiplied with a given polygonal uh, matrix r is multiplied with a given polygonal matrix to get the result so it is rewritten that means in this case that we are just exchanging the minus and we are rewriting writing this and the this is the uh, triangle this is for example the triangle x and y values x1 x2 x3 are the uh, the different coordinate uh, values y1 y2 y3 are the different coordinate values and then all one so this is multiplied with a given uh, the, the equation that we have derived so then by multiplying this uh, we are going to get that how well it is rotated so that is um, the, this is the resultant rotated matrix now next one is we are trying to understand the 3d rotation 3d rotation is that the where the zero zeroth point that is the origin where it is all zeros is right at the center of the uh, of the viewport okay of the view plane center of the view plane so positive z is towards uh, towards a, uh, uh, to, towards a viewer so a viewer is looking and it is towards a viewer and that is positive z and x and y now the, the polygon is as shown here to the left side and the zero is here and this this becomes zero one two and three now the front part of that is the positive z is here that is four and the positive z so that is five positive z is six seven so you have the uh, the here positive this becomes positive x and positive y and positive z that is six so this becomes the zero becomes negative x negative y and ne negative z okay so this is this is and the origin at the center that is zero 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 now um, the this is one of the code that uh, representation so zero is represented with an origin minus one minus one minus one and this is zero and uh, we are trying to understand this cube and its uh, polygon faces and each uh, edge each uh, uh, vertices of this poly of this cube is as shown here the origin at the center it is zero zero and the positive all one is here that is the six one and that is behind that is minus one minus one minus one is here so the same on these coordinates is written so that is 0 1 2 and 3 with its coordinates uh, values and 4 5 6 and 7 so this have the the cube is formed with 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 faces okay so the cube is uh, formed and now the next one we are trying to understand the rotation and three dimensional rotation is made the in three different ways three dimensional rotation rotation in a specific axis and the rotation so that is rotating in a specific axis that is the first one and the next one is rotation of an object parallel to the axis and the third one rotation of an object bringing it to the specific axis the first one is rotation about an axis that means so one of the specific axis is one that means we have already specified in which axis is it rotated so here rotation about z axis that means it is rotated about z axis that is it is equal to 1 so here we are keeping the z axis as 1 now here the keeping the z axis as 1 you can see the parameter theta specifies the rotation angle uh, about z axis that means in the z axis it is rotated with an angle of theta so it is rotated with an angle of theta so and x dash equals x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash equals x sin theta plus y cos theta and z dash is equal to z so where z is equal to 1 here so you have cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so we have understood that how we are getting this matrix from the 2d uh, matrix from the 2d matrix we are just bringing and we are adding the z axis here so now so the rotation uh, the same things this representation is shown in the matrix is here so that is this will be z so x y and z and this is rotation is about z axis this rotation is about z axis 
and this is cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 uh, sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 and 1 so this is 1 is because it is rotated at z axis and this is 0 and these are zeros and 1 this is a constant so and it is multiplied with x y z and 1 to form this equation so this is the matrix representation of this equation and that is we are rotating at z axis so if it is z axis is rotated in this direction so if it is rotated in an anti clockwise direction then theta is positive so you can see clockwise rotation is negative angle and anti clockwise rotation is positive angle and the next one is transformation uh, the transformation of, uh, we are trying to understand with the transformation now the same uh, matrix when uh, it is it it goes on a cyclic permutation so where x becomes y y becomes z and z becomes x so representing this same thing here we had x and y and z so replace with x with y uh, uh, x with uh, y replace x with y y with z and z with x that is what x then x is replaced with y y is replaced with z and z is replaced with x so here so x is replaced with y so it becomes y cos theta minus sin theta and z dash becomes y sin theta plus z cos theta and x dash is equal to x so now the same thing is representation we are trying to rotate in an uh, x axis we are trying to rotate we are trying to rotate in an x axis where x becomes 1 so it this is 1 so uh, when we rotate with an x axis and this becomes 1 and 1 0 0 0 and 0 cos theta minus sin theta and 0 and 0 sin theta cos theta and 0 and this becomes 0 0 1 so and now multiplying so getting this same equation in the form of matrix is as shown here so x is equal to 1 so you keep it as 1 because when it multiplied with x here so it becomes x so x uh, x will be remained so that we have x dash is equal to x and then the same thing same thing is representation uh, where uh, this is the matrix we are getting from this uh, equation when we convert that x is equal to z y and y is equal to z z is equal to x same thing uh, which in the previous equation same previous equation is replaced by these values now again it is rotated with an anti clockwise direction again it is rotated with an anti clockwise direction and it is a positive angle and it is clockwise direction it is a negative angle the next one is rotation about y axis so same thing during rotation about during rotation about y axis then we are trying to keep the y value as 1 so that is cos theta 0 minus sin theta 0 and 0 1 0 0 and that is sin theta into 0 cos theta 0 uh, all triple 0 1 so now here we have this so y is equal to 1 so when y is equal to 1 then it becomes the rotation about y axis that means we are considering the whichever the angle whichever the angle we axis we are trying to rotate it becomes one so it is rotated at uh, y axis so, so it becomes x y z and one now this is where we are trying to rotate that is rotation about y axis again it is a clockwise direction so anti clockwise rotation it is a positive angle and clockwise direction it is a negative angle so that we are trying to rotate the three dimensional rotation designated rotation axis do not coincides with the parallel coordinate axis that is the, the this one we discussed here what we discussed till here okay till here is rotation about one axis then we kept z is equal to one rotated about z axis we kept x is equal to one rotated about x axis and we kept y is equal to one rotated about y axis and the now rotated parallel to any of this axis that means designated rotation does not coincide with parallel coordinate axis but it is made parallel that means here we are rotating at the parallel axis that we are trying to make it parallel to this axis and rotate it so the rotation matrix for any axis that does not coincide with the coordinate can be set up and the composite transformation involving the combination of transform translation and coordinate axis rotation the first 
move the, or translate the designated rotation axis coincide with parallel to the coordinate axis that means there are three uh, axis x axis y axis and z axis so try to make it parallel to all these three axis and then rotate it so the, that is the meaning of this one so this is the second type of rotation which we are trying to discuss so apply rotation matrix for the coordinate axis and return the rotation so that is what so apply the rotation matrix first move it to the parallel to the axis first you move it to the parallel to the axis coordinate axis we are considering and the, uh, rotate it and move back after rotation of uh, the uh, rotation then it put it back to the original position so that is what so first translate to the parallel to the any coordinate axis then rotate it and then put it back to the original position so that is what this is the original position which we are looking at now this original position is translated parallel to the x axis now from here from here this is the original position it is moved to the parallel to the x axis and then rotate and rotation is made uh, rotation of an object often with an angle of theta that means it is rotated with an angle of theta and then move it back to the original position so these are the there are four steps uh, first one is this is the original po position of an uh, tetrahedron this is a tetrahedron and now this is brought parallel to the x axis rotate it and move it back to the original position so we uh, when an object is rotated about an axis it, that is not parallel to the one of the coordinate axis in this case we we need to trans we need translation uh, and rotation to align the rotation axis with the selected coordinate axis and then bring the rotation axis back to the original orientation the translate the object so that the rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin rotate the rotate the object so that the axis of the rotation coincides uh, with one of the um, okay uh, uh, wait a second here uh, in this part uh, we are, we are trying to move it to the next part of rotation the next type of rotation that is what so here we have moved uh, this is this is the rotation is moved at parallel to the rotation or any of this uh, axis in this case x axis it is moved at the rotation with x axis but here so we, the next next type of axis that it is translated uh, translated to to the any coordinate axis and then it is rotated it is translated to any coordinate axis then it is rotated and then is it put back to the original position this is the third type of rotation that is deriving the general equation for rotation that means in the space in the space object is it some design so some some position it is in the objects it is neither parallel to any of the axis so now it is made to you know, it is made a general equation to form this rotation for this general equation for this rotation so now translate the object so that rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin so that you need to translate the object so that the rotation passes through the coordinate origin rotate the object rotate the object so that the axis of rotation coincides with one of the coordinate axis perform the specified rotation about the selected coordinate axis the first one is we are trying to translate to the object to the um, rotation axis passes through a coordinate origin so we are trying to translate it to the uh, origin then we are trying to rotate it then perform the rotation back and then translate to the uh, original position so the, this is then inverse translation it is made so these are the five steps we derive der deriving the general equation first one is translate the object so that the rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin then rotate the object so that the axis of the coordinate coincides with one of the coordinate axis perform the specified rotation about the selected coordinate axis then apply the inverse rotation to bring the rotation axis back to its original orientation and apply the inverse translation to bring the rotation axis back to its spatial original spatial position so that is what we are trying to discuss about how we are trying to uh, first translate it to the coordinate origin then that translate it 
then rotate it so that it matches with the any of the coordinate axis that means in this case z z axis that means z becomes 1 and in this case z becomes 1 and the perform the specified rotation about the selected axis coordinate axis and apply the inverse rotation and that means rotate it back and put it to the original position now now how the rotation is made is because we we are going to specify the rotational axis and now the rotation is that it, it is brought to the first this cube is brought to the xz, XZ plane that means it is brought here then this the rotation plane is made parallel to uh, on the axis of the z, uh, z, uh, z coordinate and then rotation is made and uh, rotated back to this origin and put it back so these are the five steps that is carried out during this process deriving the general equation for this rotation again uh, the step is translate the object so that the rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin so that means uh, the rotation axis passes through a coordinate origin Rotate the object so that the axis orientation coincides with the coordinate axis. That means it rotate it in such a way that it, it matches with the z axis and where z becomes 1. And perform a specific rotation. When z is equal to 1, that means rotate at the z axis. So perform the rotation axis. And now inverse rotation to bring it back to the uh, axis, back to its original orientation, inverse rotation. And apply the inverse translation to bring the rotation back to its original spatial position. Now this is the rotation axis. There is a cube. There is a line from the from the cube. That is this is in this line in this P1 and P2 we need to rotate. So now the P1 and P2 is you need to rotate. That is this is the line where the present in the cube that we need to rotate. That is P1 and P2 line in a cube where P1 and P2 it is to be rotated and now the first one it is what uh, what are the equations to this is we have we are looking at you know the, an initial axis of rotation defined with points P1 and P2 and the direction for unit axis vector u is determined by the specified rotation direction now P1 and P2 is P2 minus P1 that is v is equal to p2 minus p1 so that is x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 that is v so we are going to specify the initial position and u is a vector so u is v by v, uh, v value so that is the magnitude v value of a b c that becomes root of v, of v this v is written here this v is written here that with this v so it becomes square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square so that is this v here this v so now a equals x2 minus x1 divided by v this v and b equals y2 minus y1 divided by v and c equals z2 minus z1 divided by v so these are the values now this is the point p1 and p2 is a point with a vector of u in the direction of p2 so Now initial position. Now again, now it is uh, the it is translated. It is tra now it is translated to the origin. So first one is this is the uh, this is where the, this is the initial position. That means the cube part. There is a line in the cube. There is two points in the cube that we need to rotate this cube, and this uh, cube is brought to the origin. So it is translated to the origin. So you can see this t inverse. That means translate minus x1 minus y1 minus z1 that means it is subtracted to the to move it to the origin so this we call t inverse means negative value so t inverse is the negative values it is brought to the origin now there are two steps two steps for putting the rotation axis onto the z axis that means to put this line to put this line of a cube that means there is a cube this is the line of a cube and this line of a cube is put into z axis by conducting 
two functions by put by uh, two steps putting uh, the, there are two steps for putting the rotation axis onto the z axis that means it is put to the z axis by conducting two steps that is first one is rotate about y x axis that means we are rotating about z x axis when we rotate about x axis that means these two line will come between x and y plane that means if you rotate in the x axis that is it will come here this line will come here then then rotate about y axis then if you rotate about y axis okay then if this line is here if you rotate about y axis it will come to this z axis it will come to the z axis when it rotate to the y axis so the, the, so there are so we conduct two steps two steps putting the rotation axis onto the z axis the rotate about x axis and the rotate about y axis when we rotate do these two steps of rotation then it it is coming to the axis of z axis okay so this is the steps so first it is this is the point the origin p1 and p2 is a point this is the line of p1 and p2 now it is rotated with the x axis when it is rotated with the x axis we can see here it is rotated with the x axis this is the line of a cube is brought to this that means the cube itself is brought to this this line that is the x and z line it is brought to this line now the next one is rotated rotation about uh, y axis so when it when you rotate about y axis then it is brought to this z axis so there are two units there is a unit vector u is rotated about the x axis to bring it to x z plane that means it is rotated to bring it to x z plane so then it is rotated around y axis that means this y axis is rotated around y axis to align it to the z axis it is to align it to the z axis then it is rotated about y axis first is rotated with x axis and then it is rotated about y axis it is rotated to get it in z axis so then this is the values uh, then this is a cube and the cube point this is the point that is the origin point that means there was the cube was translate this cube is translated to the origin so that is 0 0 0 so it is it is moved to it is translated uh, to the origin now this is u so this is u we are getting so u vector is moved to the x axis that is it is moved with the x axis so the again this is the projected one so u dash is the projected one and the d is the value that we are getting this is the projection d and why we are considering this u dash and d because so we we have rotated in z axis so that means we are considering this z axis now that's why we need d this this line this line and this point we need these three points because we are considering z axis that means we are considering d and u dash so it is rotated at x axis and it is rotated at y axis to get it to this line okay so the angle is uh, here the angle we have is alpha alpha is an angle that is it is rotated so that is this is the line of projection line of projection that is u to u dash is the line of projection and line of reference is z axis where z is equal to 1 that is the line of reference so we need d and u dash the u dash is the projection of u so the unit vector u is rotated about x axis to bring it to x z plane so it is rotated and that is alpha so alpha is the angle that is it is rotated to bring it to the x z plane so that is the first rotation so you can see this this is an alpha so rotated about then x axis so is an angle between the project uh, positive z axis so that is alpha so you can see uh, it is u dash this value is that means z is equal to z, u this it will have the, there is no value of x here because it is rotated the x axis x is equal to 0 and b and c so it is b and c that is y and c values are written x and y and c now um the y dash is equal to the now we need to define so this is the angle that we have rotated with the x axis and we need to define with the uh, what is the sin or sin alpha and what is cos alpha we need to define these two so what is sin alpha and cos alpha with respect to z axis because we are considering the z axis that is it is rotated with the, with the z axis now cos alpha is equal to dot product of u dash that is it is a dot product of u dash cos alpha this cos alpha here this this alpha is equal to u dash and and the unit vector u dash and the unit vector so that is u dash into uz 
divided by u magnitude of u dash into u dash so that is equal or it is represented by um, we will see what it is so that is uh, the magnitude of u dash is equal to uh, b square uh, plus c square divided by v square so that is equal to root of b square plus c square so that is the magnitude of d here this is the magnitude of d is written by root of b square plus c square and e equals e value that is uh, the substituting this values you get root of y2 minus y1 uh, the, the same thing same thing you substitute this uh, with y2 a b with y2 b with y and c with z so y2 minus y1 and c is z2 minus z1 whole square divided by v and now the cos alpha can be written as d by that is that is called for alpha can be written as so this is c by d okay so it is it is moved upside it is c by d so it becomes c over d that means this is cos alpha that is cos alpha is this becomes hypotenuse so adjacent side by uh, hypotenuse so that is c by d cos alpha is equal to c by d so what is c d value that is root of uh, y2 minus y1 whole square plus uh, z2 minus z1 whole square divided by magnitude of v so And next one is next one that is alpha. Uh, so the alpha value is determined, and then next is sine value, so sine alpha. So how will we determine sine alpha from the uh, from the that is a cross product of u dash and u z. So u dash into u z. So u dash into u z is equal to uh, you have u x into u dash uh, uh, ma into magnitude of u z into sine alpha. So you specify this to get. The uh, the sine alpha. So how do the Cartesian form of cos product? That means u dash into u z is equal to u into b. So that is the Cartesian form of a cross product. So now u dash into u z is equal to u into b. So substitute u and b here. So when you substitute u and b, so this u dash u dash get cancelled. Uh, then then you you get u dash is equal to d. So that is the magnitude of uh, value u z is equal to one. That is one. So then it becomes uh, u, u x u x gets cancelled and it becomes uh, that is equal to b is equal to d sine alpha so that is equal to b by d sine alpha is equal to b by d sine alpha is equal to b by d okay uh, so now uh, we'll go to the next one that is rotation on x axis that is rotation on x axis by substituting these values the first one we wrote was the transition now the second one what we are doing is rotation about x axis Okay, so that becomes one zero zero triple zero zero c by d minus b by d uh, zero zero b by d c by d zero and zero zero one. So this is rotation about x axis. Now next one is rotation about y axis. So we need to rotate. Let us see that part. So here this is this u is rotated in the x axis to get in this x z plane. So u is rotated in x axis to get it as z. Now it is rotated in y axis to get it into z plane. So it is rotated in y axis. It is rotated in x y axis to get it in z plane. So you need to get it in the z planes. It is rotated in y axis. Now then it is rotated in y axis to align it with the z axis. That that is what we need to align in z axis. So this is the code. U double dash is about U dash the positive rotation of uh, beta. So that is we we specify this angle. It is rotated. It is beta. So uh, uh, beta V is uh, and it U dash aligns uh, U double aligns with the vector of U Z. So this is U this U double dash aligns with the vector. That means this vector is coming. There is this is Z. This is U Z and this is U dash. Okay. This is U dash Z and this is U double dash. Okay, so now where u z is equal to zero zero one, so u z is one, and u double dash is a zero d, where a is the x component and d is the z component. So it is z component is d magnitude of u dash, and y is equal to zero because it's lying on the z component. It's lying on the z component. Cos cos of beta and sine of beta are determined. So what is cos of beta and sine of beta? So u z and u double dash is we are considering u z and u double dash are the same guys. So u z and u double dash cos beta is the dot product of unit vectors. 
so that is u double dash into u z u double dash into u z divided by magnitude of u dash into u z so that is equal to u z and u double dash both are one so you have the formula u double dash into u z uh, into u y into magnitude of u double dash u z into sin beta so where you have this substitution so you substitute for u double dash u z is equal to u y into minus a so this becomes u y into minus a that is equal to minus u uh, y u double dash uh, magnitude of u double dash and magnitude of u z and sin beta therefore minus a equals sin beta the so, or sin beta equals minus a so the sin beta is equal to minus a so the cos what is cos beta so cos beta is equal to d so it becomes d now the rotation about y axis that is r by beta is d 0 minus a and 0 so 0 1 0 0 and a 0 d and 0 so triple 0 1 so this is rotation on y axis the first one was translation and the second one is rotation about x axis and third one is rotation about y axis and then when we rotate about uh, rotation of y r y beta is rotation about y axis and when it is rotated and it will align with the z axis so when it aligns with the z axis then the, then you, uh, we can make the rotation which is uh, which is supposed to be done so now next one is so now the the given the, this is what the a value b value and c value are substituted the a value is x2 minus x1 divided by magnitude of v b value is y2 minus y1 divided by magnitude of y c value is y2 z2 minus z1 divided by magnitude of v and v is equal to root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square so now now this one this is this is the given this is the given then it is it is uh, translated to the origin so it is moved to this point the origin and then it is moved to this exit plane and then the uh, it is moved to uh, to origin to this this plane so this is the step so first uh, first uh, it was here it was here moved here moved to exit plane and then moved to z plane z coordinates so now it is moved to the z coordinates so now we are supposed to, so it is uh, Rx inverse alpha, Ry inverse beta. So this is what we have calculated out right now. So rotate P2 on Z axis. So we are trying to rotate it on Z axis. And this is rotation. That is the angle of rotation that we are trying to specify. So rotate about, about around the Z axis. That means you are, we need to rotate at, the, at a Z axis with an angle of theta so that means you need, we are trying to rotate with an angle of theta so that is if it is p2 and p1 uh, is aligned with a uh, z axis this 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 point this line is the it is the polygon line so that 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 is rotated with this axis now after this rotation uh, after this rotation the z z theta is specified so the the first one it is rotated with the z axis so that is rotation with z axis then uh, this is we are trying to specify rotated with z axis that means this is one so it is rotated with z axis that is it becomes one cos theta minus sin theta one and zero sin theta cos theta one and zero and this is one so we are familiar with this uh, matrix so it is the same as the uh, previous one when it is rotated with the particular coordinate axis so it is rotated with a particular coordinate axis that is cos theta minus sin theta 1 and 0 and sin theta cos theta 1 and 0 and 0 0 1 and 0 so 0 0 1 and 1 so it is rotated with with a z axis this axis it is rotated with this axis so when you rotate with a z axis so we are trying to use this matrix so where z is equal to 1 which we have which we have seen it in when you are rotating it parallel to a coordinate axis or when you are rotated with z axis so we have seen that code so then the given rotate so then after rotation so after rotation that we are trying to move back after rotation trying to move back this point to this origin point 
so this moved back to how do we rotate how to bring this to original points it is that we rotate back in the y direction so it was here it was here in this line so then it moved with the z axis z rotation moving back with the z, uh, y so it moving back with the y rotation and moving back with the z x axis for so that is what y uh, r y beta rotation that means we rotate with the y y axis and rotate with x axis first it is rotated with y axis and rotate back with x axis that means we are trying to bring it to the origin so we had moved it to x axis we have rotated with x axis and we have rotated y axis to get it here so to get this line here we had moved it we have moved it to x y plane and then we had moved it in y axis to get it here now going back to get it back to the origin back that means we need to move it to y axis and then x axis that is what is being done so first it is moved to y axis rotated with y axis and rotated with x axis to move it to z axis it was moved with x axis and y axis moving back you we are moving with y axis and x axis so it is the same thing so we are we are now it is translated now it is translated so now let us look uh, look at this uh, formula so that means it is translated then it is rotated with uh, uh, x alpha then is rotated with y beta and it is rotated with z axis theta and that is uh, rotated with r y beta and rotated with r x alpha and it is translated so then p1 we p1 is this is multiplied with a matrix that is a given diagram so that means uh, p dash is equal to a into p1 so that means this is the a well value we have obtained that is value into p1 so then it is multiplied with p1 p dash is equal to a into p1 so that is this is the first translation the uh, for, for translated to the origin uh, then it is rotated is rotated rotated with an x axis that is the xz plane okay this is the formula and then it is rotated with the y axis that is uh, rotated with beta so that is with uh, y axis and it is rotated with z axis where which is the angle that we are supposed to rotate with the z axis and it is rotated with uh, with uh, r y beta so this uh, r y beta is moving back see here first we are rotated x axis and then y axis then moving back you rotate with y axis and then x axis so same formula same formula here we are moving with so in inverse means it becomes positive so it becomes negative here it is inverse and then translation so translation this tree inverse is negative here and t is here it is positive so this becomes positive so again it is multi so t is t is multiplied here so the a value is substituted with x2 minus x1 divided by v magnitude so b value is substituted with y2 minus y1 by v magnitude and c is substituted with z2 minus z1 with v magnitude so and v value is y x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square and z2 minus z1 so d is equal to b square uh, root of b square plus c square so that is what p dash p dash is equal to a into p p is multiplied with the matrix with a given diagram so that means p a a is what we have calculated into p is the matrix that is been given now this is the uh, formulas which we have discussed and the, uh, d is equal to root of b square plus c square and d is equal to root of y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square divided by magnitude of v and c is equal to c by d c by d can be written as uh, z2 minus z1 divided by v and the y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square divided by v so that is this is a magnitude that is z2 minus z1 divided by uh, root of y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square similarly b by d that is you calculated by c by d and this is uh, b by d so b by d is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by root of y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square so again so this is the formula and this this is the formula we use and you multiply it with a uh, given value so consider the an example so there are the given the two points with an axis of rotation uh, for an considered picture so line of point is n line of point so the point in a diagram the point of rotation is n and m so n value is 6 and minus 2 0 and m value is 12 18 8 and 0 
so rotate this angle with an 10 degree in n m n n m n to m direction so u is equal to 0 so the points p1 is n uh, and p2 is equal to m so x2 uh, x1 x2 is equal to 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 and y1 and y2 is equal to 8 minus of minus 2 that is equal to this value so, so that is y2 so the translation we are supposed to give is 6 minus 2 0 and inverse translation is minus 6 2 and 0 this is the inverse translation minus 6 2 and 0 so then we substitute for this value c by d and b by d by using these formulas you get 1 0 triple 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 1 0 0 and triple 0 1 that is rx next r y value so substitute with uh, a d a and magnitude of v so there is 0 0.850 0 minus 0 0.510 0 0 1 0 0 0 0.51 uh, 1 0 0.850 0 triple 0 1 so now uh, this is the rz that is uh, the angle so we have specified to rotate it with an angle of 10 degree so it is rotated with 10 degree so that is cos, th cos theta theta is equal to 10 so we specify these values then p1 is the matrix now final so you substitute for all these one multiply this p1 and get the resultant one okay thank you very much